Promises to install more seismometers at Glacier Peak have fallen through. And that's scary because right now there's only one detector stationed on the active volcano in Snohomish County. And as Fox 13's Lauren Donovan reports, the threat of eruption at Glacier Peak is very high right now. So if that remote mountain were to blow, say goodbye to Skagit Valley. There are oral histories from tribes here in our area dating back to 200 years ago, describing explosive eruptions coming from Glacier Peak. This USGS hazard map shows us the devastation that would ensue. Lahar flows, boiling rivers of volcanic mud would consume the Sauk, Skagit, and Stillaguamish rivers. Towns like Darrington and Concrete decimated. The flows moving out to the sea would swallow Arlington, Cedar Woolley, Mount Vernon, and Stanwood, even as far as LaConnor. The breadbasket of western Washington would cease to exist. The fear of that happening prompted the call for more seismometers on Glacier Peak. Federal funding for that was secured. The Cascades Volcano Observatory promising to get four new detectors stationed up there by this summer at the latest. So we checked in to see if they fall through on that pledge. And that's when we learned. We had plans to try to install them a couple of summers ago, but uh, a last minute glitch with um, a helicopter vendor prevented us from being able to actually do the installations. And that's not all. Our crews found out that a few things they thought about the sites weren't quite right. Um, so you, you know, to, to put in GPS units, you've got to have really solid bedrock. In a few yeah. sites, the, the, the material wasn't all that solid. Right now, scientists like John Major, who you just heard from there, are going back to the drawing board drafting new plans for how to install those seismometers. Noting the mountain is located in a really remote wilderness area. It's challenging work to reach. Inaccessible by car, hiking out there could take a couple days. And we've learned they are not scraping these plans altogether, just likely tabling things until potentially the summer of 2026. Meantime, they're hatching new plans to put permanent monitors over on Mount Adams. We'll send it back to you. Now, as Lauren mentioned, Mount Adams is getting a look as well, and lately it has been rumbling. USGS says that last month they saw an unusual episode of earthquakes there. Six were recorded in September alone. Now, concerned by the uptick in activity, the USGS and Forest Service set out into the wilderness to set up some temporary seismometers. Uh, we've learned at least three were added within the last three weeks. Now, the problem with these temporary trackers is they're equipped with solar panels, so when winter weather rolls in, snow can pile up, powering down that equipment. It's actually why USGS says they have to come down. The hope is they can get some permanent monitors up there next year.